water. We cannot live without it. But if our water isn't clean, we can't live with it. We require huge volumes of clean water, not only to maintain human life, but to feed the vast industrial structure which supports modern civilization. Meeting the need for clean water would be no problem if there were an unlimited number of clear, fresh water sources available everywhere we live or work, but there aren't. We have to use water that may be laden with pollutants. In fact, we must often use the same water over and over again. That's why the science of water purification has become a cornerstone of modern life. Water purification is not new. Some of its technology is as old as civilization. Settling basins, for example, have been used for more than 2,000 years. They weren't improved upon until early in this century, when engineers discovered that the addition of chemicals would speed up the settling process. Here's how it works. The jar at left contains clean water. The other two contain turbid raw water. We'll work on the middle jar to illustrate the three steps involved in chemical settling. To stimulate the process, chemicals are added in a formulation tailored to the type of impurities encountered. In the first step, mixing the chemicals and raw water occurs simultaneously. In the second step, the chemicals begin to neutralize the charge exerted by the suspended particles. Stimulated by the stirring, they begin to coagulate. The particles grow in size, a process called flocculation. In the final step, their mass becomes so large and heavy that they settle to the bottom, leaving clear water above. Although this was an improvement over the settling process, it was cumbersome for modern needs. Thanks to technology developed by our company, it is possible to meet today's demand for large volumes of clean water produced economically and efficiently. This is an accelerator, so named because it accelerates the process of water treatment. It combines mixing, flocculation, and clarification with a unique slurry recirculation concept in one compact basin. The accelerator occupies a smaller space than that required by other methods and operates at a lower cost. It does all these things because it takes advantage of the time-proven principle of dynamic separation. What is dynamic separation? To illustrate, let's compare a process in which we feed raw water up through a mixture of slurry and chemicals to produce a flow of clean water. To maintain equilibrium, we can push the water through no faster than gravity will carry the solids downward. But the flow can be dramatically speeded up if we add a loop and a pump to recirculate the slurry. This is the principle of the accelerator using dynamic separation. You can see for yourself how well it works in a laboratory model. To demonstrate how much more water is being treated this way, we simply stop the recirculation of slurry without reducing the raw water supply. When we resume recirculation of the slurry, treatment capacity immediately increases and we attain equilibrium. In effect, this model is a cross-section of the action which takes place in the accelerator and illustrates the principle on which it is based. An animated cross-section of an accelerator shows how it is applied. Raw water enters at the top of the primary mixing and reaction zone where it is quickly assimilated into a circulating mass of slurry. Meanwhile, a steady stream of carefully balanced chemicals enters through the vertical tube on the left. This ensures quick coagulation. A specially designed impeller carries part of the slurry up into the secondary mixing and reaction zone. 
From the secondary zone, slurry flows down an outer circuit and out into the slurry pool, where dynamic separation of clear water and solid particles takes place. Treated water rises to the surface and flows out through a collecting trough, while the slurry stream continues to recycle through the mixing and reaction zones. A section of the accelerator contains a concentrator, which collects sludge and discharges it automatically. Now, let's breathe life into our mechanical drawing. This working model, using artificial slurry, demonstrates how dynamic separation works in an accelerator. We think it's a beautiful sight, for it clearly shows a rare achievement, a perfect union between concept, design, and construction. A mirror below our model shows how the slurry recirculates. It's an action caused by our specially designed rotor impeller, a key to the accelerator's success. The long, flat rotor blades mix raw water and chemicals with the recirculating slurry. The impeller at the top acts as a low-lift pump to push slurry up into the secondary mixing zone. Thousands of accelerators, both types NS and IS, are in operation today around the world because they offer speedy mixing, flocculation, and precipitation in one compact unit. They are available for the complete range of basin sizes. Our NS accelerator is essentially similar in configuration to those demonstrated in this film. The IS accelerator differs in that it has the added effect of a bottom scraper to assist in the efficient removal of sludge in larger basins. With or without bottom scrapers, accelerators are popular in both municipal and industrial use. In water treatment, they can be used for softening as well as clarification. And accelerators are also used in waste treatment from tertiary treatment of domestic wastewater to removal of suspended matter from industrial wastes, there is an accelerator to do the job. This versatility is only one of the many advantages offered by accelerators. Their increased efficiency means not only that they do more in less space, but construction costs are lower because units may be smaller. Because the recirculation of slurry in an accelerator is independent of the flow rate, Accelerators can accommodate wide flow variations caused by periodic demand changes. And accelerators offer low-cost performance. First, because their simple, automatic operation requires a minimum of attention. And second, because their highly efficient mixing system permits maximum utilization of chemicals. All these benefits go hand-in-hand -hand with complete, continuous water treatment carried on at high speed in one basin, producing water of sparkling clarity, unusually free of both mineral and organic matter. The world may no longer have enough clear, fresh water sources to supply all our needs for clean water, but we can produce all the clear, treated water the world needs. Our business is water treatment, and our accelerators are the best in the business.